Okay, atom economy. Uh, there's the equation. That's from the data booklet. No need to memorize that. Uh, and so let's look at a potential question. Calculate which chlorine synthesis method has the highest atom economy. So there's three methods there. All right, first of all, I'm going to work out the molar mass of the desired product. And this is the only kind of little tricky thing here, is that you actually need to double that. Since I'm after the chlorine, I'm going to double it to match the coefficient. Then uh, molar mass of all the reactants. Molar mass of the reactants. So I've got four of hydrochloric acid. And then I've got uh, 16 plus 16 for the oxygen. Alrighty, so let's take those numbers. So percent atom economy. Let's set it out nice uh, in case you make a mistake and then maybe you'll get partial credit. Okay, so that's 79.8%. Let me do the other calculations. All right, then, so clearly uh, the one that has the highest atom economy is the first one. So atom economy, well, that's kind of linked to uh, the wastefulness of your process. The higher the atom economy, the less wasteful uh, the reactants were in terms of producing it. Uh, but obviously that's a very oversimplification when it comes to industrial synthesis of these things. So question 1b, suggest reasons why the synthesis method with the highest atom economy may not be the method used in industry. Well, there are plenty of other things you need to consider. Uh, what kind of waste are you making? Uh, what about the toxicity of any uh, reactants or any other products or the process? Ideally, you'd be able to recycle some stuff. Uh, and the energy requirement's important. Will it happen at room temperature? Have we got to heat it to thousands of degrees centigrade or high pressure? Cost as well of the reactants, as well as the percent yield. Maybe you'll have an excellent atom economy, like the top one, but only make 1% a yield. And 99% doesn't actually do what you want it to do. It doesn't actually make what you want it to make. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. And we're done. Thank <laughs> you.